Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So uh, we're back here at uh, the last tree line we took out. We're gonna go ahead and get this pile, what's left of it's buried. There's just a few chunks here. Nothing real serious, so we're just gonna dig a hole and bury it and get rid of it because there's nowhere to put it in the edge of the woods or anything and I don't like doing that anyway. So it's all pretty much burnt up. So we're just gonna scratch a small hole and we're gonna bury it and get rid of it. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so we'll get this hole dug. I already started it, of course. But uh, there's not much topsoil here. So a little bit of topsoil there is, I'm throwing off to the side so I can kind of blade back over the top. But there's plenty of ashes here and stuff that will have plenty of something to put back over the top. Scrape a little more topsoil off right here and throw that to the side. Smashing it, but that's all right. It's the first time I've really actually dug a hole with this machine. Not quite sitting perfectly level. That's why it's rocking a little bit. I don't have no problem digging this sand though. I don't need to bury this stuff super deep because there's not really any big pieces, it's just small stuff. So I'm just going to try to get it, you know, about four or five foot deep. It's plenty deep. Let them ashes mix in that sand, that's alright. Just twigs and stuff. done on the other project we're just uh, piling up piles and we're gonna get ready to uh, set the bridges so I'm uh, that'll be in this video too we'll get those irrigation bridges set so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna finish burying this 
Then I'm going to jump on the dozer and do some dozer work where they uh, they ran a uh, electric wire in for the two irrigation systems on this farm. So I'm going to get on the dozer and go grade off where they trenched in because they tried to use the blade on the trencher but it just wasn't very effective. The ground was a little wet and just didn't want to push it. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, finish it off with our dozer. Make it look nice. Square the bottom of this hole up a little bit. And better whiten it out of here more. Take this sign all off. And that should be plenty big for what I want to bury. I like digging with this. This is nice. I want to dig a basement or something with it. I'm going to dig a new ditch with it. I got uh, my buddy Charlie. I got his trapezoid ditch bucket that I'm going to borrow. And I got a uh, ditch to dig. So I'm going to get that trapezoid bucket and probably put it on this machine and go dig that new ditch. Charlie was nice enough to let me borrow it, try it out. If I like it, we're going to build one. I've always wanted one, just never built one. So uh, it would be kind of cool to try one out. Either build one or buy one, we'll see. I don't know, I'd have to price one, see what tag is charging for them. I mean, we don't dig new ditch a lot, but the trapezoid bucket would be nice for other things like trenching in pipe and wire and stuff for irrigation, I think. In some situations, it'd be nice. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll just uh, let's go ahead and purchase one. So anyways, I'm going to get this hole dug, I'm going to get this stuff pushed in there, and then uh, we'll go get them irrigation bridges set. And we'll get some video doing that. back over here on our ditch project and our little half acre of woods we had to take out. Dad's strength's getting it all graded off. The uh, hill that we cleared off. He's just going to taper that all real nice. Dad's over getting the pile racked up. It's been burning real good all day. Had some good wind cooperation blowing in the right direction. So we didn't have to worry about anything else burning. That pile over there, it's it's almost gone too. It burnt really nice and hot. So it uh, it was full of a lot of sassafras from that ditch and it just went up like crazy. So that's a good thing. So I am going to take the feller buncher back up there because we don't need it back here anymore. So I'm gonna run it up there and uh, get, uh, walk back here for the loader that's what i'm gonna do had a senior moment couldn't figure out what i was gonna do thought i was joe biden for a second so uh anyways that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go take that up there and then we'll get our uh pipe put in and uh we're gonna go look at a 1950 john deere a two cylinder tonight it is a project tractor it's all tore apart right now so i found it earlier today and i thought well, I thought I'd send the guy a message and find out some stuff about it. It had a uh, strip spark plug hole, so uh, he tore it completely down. So uh, it's in pieces. He doesn't want to finish the project, so uh, it's right up my alley. So we're going to go look at that later today, too. So, but anyways, go get that pipe put in before we do all that. Well, here we go. Here's the John Deere A. And uh, yes, I did purchase it. We come to an agreement on price. So uh, we're going to be uh, getting this home tomorrow afternoon. And as you can see, it's already disassembled. So this is going to be a fun project to put this one together. So we did discover it needs a crankshaft. So I'm going to have to get a crankshaft from New Paris Tractor Parts. I already talked to Rich about it, and he's got one for me. So it's going to be a project tractor. It's got two new tires on it, field and road firestones on it, so that's a good thing. So, uh, pretty excited. 
I'm gonna do some cleaning on it and get her put back together. I don't know if we'll get her put back together for plow day on the tenth, but uh, I think we'll uh, get her for a plow day eventually. So the radiator's in good shape. The block does need a uh, spark plug hole rethreaded. There's the head for it. So all the parts are here. Pistons, rods. Oh, it's really got a really cool gas gauge. I've never seen one of these before on the two cylinder. Neither is dad or dad strength. So this is going to be kind of cool. I'll we'll put a new lens in it, but it's be sweet. So, uh, can't wait to get this one home tomorrow night. Are you ready for another project? Yeah. Yeah, you ready? Oh, so, this one will be fun. So, won't be right away project, but we'll get around to it. So, anyways, if you like this episode of Dirt Grain Steel and you want to follow this project, give me a like, and you can subscribe to the channel if you want to. We'd appreciate it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all in the next one.